The Jaime V. Ongpin Foundation traces its present stature to very simple beginnings. In 1980, the Benguet Corporation Foundation was founded by Benguet Corporation based on the principle that corporate responsibility encompasses a social dimension. The major programs implemented were education, community development, and social services. After five years, the foundation secured a grant from the USAID for the Benguet Community Development Project, enabling it to expand its services beyond the mining camps and decentralize its operations. In 1987, the foundation was renamed the Jaime V. Ongpin Foundation Incorporated in honor of the former president of Benguet Corporation and finance minister of then President Corazon Aquino administration, who initiated the creation of the foundation. During the 1990s, the foundation engaged in relief and rehabilitation operations as it provided services during the devastating earthquake that struck Baguio City and its neighboring communities. The foundation provided medical assistance and livelihood projects to the displaced ITIS during the Mount Pinatubo volcanic eruption in Zambales. The foundation became financially independent from Benguet Corporation in 1997 as the company veered away from mining as its core business. In the same year, the foundation focused on four core programs. Ecological Enhancement Enterprise Development Internal Capacity Building and Resource Generation At the start of the second millennium, the Foundation focused its trust on environmental protection, microfinance, and solid waste management in partnership with the Baguio City government. From 2006 to 2007, the Foundation undertook several environmental projects funded by Texas Instruments, Team Energy Foundation, the Philippine Tropical Forest Conservation Foundation, and the New Zealand's International Aid and Development Agency. These projects were intended to protect remaining watersheds largely through community participation. Following the Foundation's experience in environmental and capacity building projects, it was ready to offer its expertise to Philip Morris Philippines Manufacturing Incorporated beginning in September 2008. The project entailed organizing and strengthening four farmers' organizations to establish and manage their fuel wood plantations in the provinces of La Union and Ilocos Sur. In the same year, the Foundation also began implementing the Integrated Livestock Production Project funded by Heifer in the town of Rojas, Isabela Province. The Foundation explored a new area which was the Urban Partnerships for Sustainable Upliftment, Renewal, Governance and Empowerment or Upsurge project. The Foundation held the goal for a cause which lasted from 2005 to 2013. The event aimed to raise funds for the enterprising women in Baguio and Benguet who were clients of the microfinance unit. Meanwhile, the microfinance project operated for the first time in 2008 without any subsidies from donor grants. Following the completion of the five-year DSOP funded project, both its Baguio and La Trinidad branches were able to sustain their operations and earn modest incomes. As the foundation reached its 30th anniversary in 2010, the foundation resolved to enable communities to become self-reliant. After the onslaught of Typhoon Pepeng in 2009, the foundation continued engaging in relief and rehabilitation programs benefiting a total of 301 farmers through the assistance of the foundation for a sustainable society. Because the Philippines is ranked among the top 5 most disaster-prone countries and Benguet province is the 4th most disaster-prone in the country, JVOFI ventured into disaster preparedness and response. From 2009 to 2010, it provided assistance to 38 organic farmers of Benguet who were affected by Typhoon Pepeng through the Philippine Australia Community Assistance Program. In 2011, it implemented an eco-agritourism project involving 10 farmers as a strategy to attract more conventional farmers to convert to organic farming. These farms are now demonstration sites of the Department of Agriculture's Agricultural Training Institute. 
Since then, the foundation increasingly engaged in the protection of watersheds among communities. It implemented the European Union's funded project, Saving the Benguet Watersheds for Water from 2011 to 2013. Another related project is the PhilM funded project, Save the Amburayan River from 2014 to 2017. The foundation partnered with the Philippine Tropical Forest Conservation Foundation for the implementation of Saving Mount Purgatory Project. The project aims to promote ecotourism as the key to preserving Mount Purgatory's biodiversity. JVOFI continued to serve the communities in Zambales with the building the capacities of AS, Philippine Foundation Communities on Sustainable Water System Project. More than the aim to make water rich every household is to create awareness among community members on the importance of watershed protection. With the strengthened partnership of the foundation with the PMFTC Incorporated, various corporate social responsibility programs and project management contracts were implemented to alleviate poverty and increase productivity of tobacco growing communities. Among these projects was the reforestation through cooperative organizing and capacity building for farmers project from 2008 to 2013. This particular project enabled the foundation and PMFTC to consistently garner honors from the International Business Awards from 2011 to 2013. In 2014, other PMFTC Corporate Social Responsibility Program were awarded the Bronze TV Awards under Corporate Social Responsibility Program of the Year to include the Program for the Poor, Child and Community-Based Interventions to Eliminate Child Labor in Tobacco Growing Areas, or C2C and Community Management Fund Alleviation of Hunger and Poverty. The Child Labor Prevention and Improving the Lives of PMFTC Farmers in the Locos Region and Occidental Mindoro or ALP was awarded the Bronze TV Award under Health, Safety and Environmental Program of the Year. JVOFI moved to its permanent home in May 2015, which was fittingly dedicated to its founder, Mr. Jaime V. Ongpin. Looking back, the foundation has indeed gone far. The 35 years in development work have enriched our knowledge and given us the confidence to continue pursuing our goals. While the foundation has delved into new territories, we have remained true to our triple bottom lines. The social, the economic, and environmental aspects of development. Partners who share our vision, Communities who are willing to put in their stake and are committed to carrying the benefits forward always inspire us. As the foundation celebrates its 35th year and embarks on a new chapter, we are reminded of the late Jaime V. Ongpin who aptly said, If we pull together as a nation, our dream of prosperity and dignity for every Filipino can be fulfilled. Thank you to our partners for being one with us in achieving this dream.